Good evening. So I want to follow up on a video that I had made the other day and it kind of upset some individuals and, and I wanted to do a, a continuation of what I was saying because lo and behold I've got more to show you and uh, I don't know what it is with this fascination of people wanting to be afraid of people spreading fear and I don't know exactly what the motive of the sheriff is. I have no idea. I don't know if there's some type of funding that he's trying to promote, you know, to get. I, d I don't know. But I guarantee you that it goes further than just what his mouth is saying. So let's jump right into it. The other day, I had made a video talking about how a sheriff was absolutely full of crap. And uh, I... I'm going to once again show you how the sheriff is full of crap. So apparently he had done a video with uh, with Glenn Beck, and uh, and this is the video here. And I'll, I'll link Glenn's video below. I'll link his video below. But what I did is I pulled a 20 second excerpt of audio. I just got the audio. You can. Use the link to go watch the video if you think there's hanky-panky going on with me. And, uh, and I find it rather interesting what his claims are uh, with nothing to back it up. Absolutely. I mean, this, this guy is at this point is starting to really reach for things to scare people with. So in this video, uh, he goes on to talk about the shooting that happened at Joel Osteen's church in Texas. And uh, we'll just listen to this little 20 second clip. The lady that uh, went to the church, Osteen's church, she she targeted that church, what I seen on the interviews. She had Palestine wrote on her rifle and she targeted the church. She took her child with her, I assume, so they wouldn't shoot her, but they had no choice because there would have been, she was going for a bigger target. So, yeah, you could say what he was saying is correct, but he was leaving it completely open as far as what the motive could have been for this, this uh, individual to walk into this church. And I find it very interesting that uh, the motive was just left open. Now, uh, there were some things that had been said previously about uh, this particular situation. And while I'm not seeing uh, those those words being used now, I don't know why I'm not seeing them used now. However, he's acting as if or speaking as if that she just went in there willy-nilly because she wanted to target, I guess, Joel Olstein's church. But it goes deeper than that. And I think a lot of people know that it goes deeper than that. And and I'm going to go ahead and pull up a CNN article. And yes, of course, this was put out today, or at least updated today. And I will provide the link to this as well. And if you scroll all the way down at the end of the article, it says authorities investigate dispute with her ex-husband's family. And it says here, uh, police found anti-Semitic writings connected to the shooter and are investigating whether an argument with her ex-husband's family, some of whom are Jewish, may have led to the shooting, Hassig said Monday. I mentioned anti-Semitic writing. We do believe that there was a familial, uh, you know, a family dispute that has taken place between her ex-husband and her ex-husband's family, and some of those individuals are Jewish, Hessig said. We believe that that might possibly be where all of this stems from. Hessig also said the AR-15 Marino used had a Palestine sticker on it. In her Facebook post on Monday, Carranza, who is a rabbi, said the shooting has nothing to do with Judaism or Islam. Nothing. So right there, they are more indicating that this has to do with the family dispute that is going on. So when this sheriff is talking about how they were targeting that church, oh yeah? 
Why specifically were they targeting that church? Were they targeting that church because it was Christians? No, apparently not. I know that earlier reports mentioned something that uh, possibly some of the family members might have went to that church. Now, I'm not seeing that language, at least not in that CNN article as of now. And I did look around a couple other articles, and I'm not seeing that language. However, if you go back to where I had covered that shooting, you will see where at that point in time, they were saying something to the effect that there could have been some some family members that she was in dispute with that may have attended that church. I don't know if that had been disproven. I don't know if that is being dropped out, whether it be for lack of accuracy or more of an agenda that they want to push. But uh, because it really does seem that they want to push this whole it was anti-Semitic kind of thing. And when you have literal family members, right, saying that no it had nothing to do with judaism nothing at all nothing to do with islam i think the proof is in the pudding i think that it had to do with the family dispute but more to the subject that we're here talking about this sheriff full of shit all you got to do is let these people keep talking and they will out themselves and that's indeed what happened here look i don't know what his motive is the sheriff i don't know again if there's some type of funding that he's trying to get passed through i i'm sure there is something though because they are really trying to raise well i should say he is really trying to raise the alarm bells here now the interesting thing is is I don't see a whole bunch of people joining him in that chorus of fear-mongering. Do you? Because I don't. I see a sheriff. I don't know. Could he be running for sheriff again or something? I, I don't know. But I will guarantee you, it's not worth my time, but I would guarantee you if you, you take a little time and dig a little further, you're going to see, you're going to find why this sheriff is pushing this narrative awful hard. And it's easy to get the the so-called YouTube prepping channels to get them to bite on anything, right? You mentioned just a little inkling of fear, and they're all over it. It's ridiculous. I don't understand the addiction of it, whether it be from, well, from the viewers. I don't understand the addiction. I know why the YouTube content creators are doing it. Click, click, click. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Shalom.